Are lo-fi hip-hop polyrhythmic drums too complex and urban for you? Do you ever find yourself in Berlin, standing outside of a nightclub, and you think to yourself, wow, the music sounds way better standing out here than it does inside the club? Are you looking for a fast and easy way to exploit the YouTube algorithm to get views on your mediocre music? Then you best learn how to make a music tutorial parody how-to, and I'm going to teach you how to do that. First, you pick a genre, and then you make fun of it and say, haha, look how easy it is to make everyone. And then you spread uh, your original music, um, and I guess people buy it. So let me show you how to make Lo-Fi House. Lo-Fi House began when DJ Boring uploaded this uh, Winona track and Stranger Things hype blew that shit out of proportions. Then because the good old YouTube algorithm promoted similar sounds uh, with muffled bass kicks and long jury chords that lasted for six minutes long for some reason. If you listen to this track, you'll just end up at this one channel. And this one particular YouTube channel is called, hold on, let me look it up. O-U-K Funky O. And then you listen to any one of these tracks, and you just legitimately just make a track that sounds like any one of these tracks. tracks, 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 tracks. What about videos? Do you, do you enjoy doing that? Thing? Videos are fun. They're a lot of fun. You get to uh, dance and play and, and do like silent acting, you know, is what I call it. I think it's fun when people get to see you, you know, perform your songs. I think it's fun when people get to see you. Perform your songs. I think it's fun when people get to see you. Dance and play and then... Videos are fun. Dance and play and then... Videos are fun. Perform your songs. Did you fucking see that editing at the first minute of the video? It was done by outsourced child labor from Brazil. So shout out to Vapor Rub Boy. You literally saved me from my self-imposed exhalation from the YouTube music tutorial scene. First you gotta get yourself some vintage synths. In today's FL Studio pack, you get my three Simpson Wave synths that I handmade in FL Studio Sim Synth, which is totally a pun. Um, if you heard my home resonance parody, I used all those synths in them. And th these synths are blessed with uh, getting lots of Spotify plays. So listen to that if you haven't yet. And that's not all. You also get the very best high quality 606 drum machine samples uh, ever. These 606 drum samples are sick. You get the kick, the snare, the hi-hats, a weird distorted tom thing. You, you get the works. Um, but that's not all. You also get this exclusive 1980s interview of Whitney Houston. She's one of my favorite singers of all time, and I love her. F for reals, like when I was an infant and the bodyguard was playing on in the background, I had transcendental stuff happen to me whenever she'd sing, I will always love you. And also there's some random white noise and a cursed uh, VHS tape on there. So watch out for that. It, it, it'll get spooky. All of this for free in the links below. But I'd rather you check out my new Jabba's tutorial or my lo-fi hip-hop tutorial for further edutainment. No, seriously, if you, if you watch those videos in a row like new Jabba's, then the lo-fi hip-hop, then this tutorial, it unlocks a better reality for both you and me. But yeah, also, um, the new mixtape is coming out soon. 
So yeah, see you, see you, see you, see you.